update method will write for a update. For update, what and all data you have? You have both old and new, right? New data. This will handle any changes in the account in contact. Any changes in the account in the sense if it is getting updated. So public static void or update on update let me enter it little bit so that code will come up update now map of id comma contact i am using map because you wanted to know more about maps yes comma contact old map now i wanted to extract the changes in the account i mean i wanted to extract eligible account ids how to, what is meant by eligible account ids if the account id is added newly or is there any changes in the account id right both are eligible yeah how can you say it is added newly by comparing old with new how can you say that it is not a new id it is a old account id by comparing new and old right yes we need to add get eligible account id from the new map and old map so i am declaring my variable id comma account ids account ids equal to new set of id now what i need to do you need to iterate a variable right yes i trade i trade the new map based on key if i say i trade based on key in the sense for what is doing id right data type yes contact ID, the contact ID, new map new map key set right get current contact how to get a current contact contact current con equal to new map will have a current contact always right this is a new history current means current history okay how to get old contact get old contact how to get old contact 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 old contact is equal to old map okay dot get get a key always remains same right yeah now we need to check find an eligible account id what is eligible account id is the conditions are always something like this way first condition is that account name added newly account name added in the newly in the sense old contact will i mean old details have no account id but new details have a account id right yeah and second one when the old account id account is changed in new contact account so in that case old contact i you are having a lakshmi and new contact have a lakshmi deepak so there is a changes right yes and next one old contact have account id and new contact have no account id right this is also possible old contact have account and new contact are removed account and i save yes these are the possible and these are the possible combination that you'll get from a user side and these are eligible conditions also right 
Now we need yes. to handle these requests. So what is the first request? Account. Current contact dot account ID not equal to old contact dot account ID. So if it is not equal to, if it is not equal to what we are trying to do, we are trying to understand here. Not equal to null. Not equal to null. Okay. If it is not equal to null, then I'm adding it. This is eligible, right? If it is not equal, means it is eligible always, always right? Yeah. So I'm adding my current contact. And next one I am saying, what if old contact is also not equal? That is also eligible, right again? That is also eligible. But it's almost same, right? Same but different account IDs. Here current account ID or old account ID. We need to update two records, right? Ultimately. Mm -hmm. Understand what is the final target? If I remove, if I move one contact from one account to another account, one account should be reduced its number, the other account should be updated, increasing its number, right? Yeah. So in that case, you need to know both account IDs, old account ID and new account ID, so that I can query my accounts to update. Okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Any doubt on this? But we are writing condition for this, right? Account name added newly. I mean, all three conditions is addressed in this condition. Okay, okay. First, I am saying current account not equal to old account. So it means that like newly added in the sense old account is null and new account is not null. So it means that it is not equal. Yeah. And when old so account second, changed, is this is the second condition. Which one? Uh, old dot uh, account ID is not, not equal to null. Second one. Yeah, next one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not a second condition. You understand it. First, you are seeing only this condition. Okay. Account name yeah. added newly means. Old contact dot account ID is null always, right? Yes. This is null. So it means that it become true. Yes. It become true. And then I'm going inside. I'm saying that current contact dot account ID not equal to null. Yes, it is added newly. It is not equal to null. So we are adding to a set. Okay. But old contact yes. equal to null. It means that it will not go into this loop. It's become false, right? Yes. So this is first. What is second? When old account is changed to a new account name. So let's say current account not equal to old account. It means that this is satisfied. Hello. When old account is changed in new account. Yes. New contact. This is satisfied. Yes. And then I'm saying old account not equal to null, right? Yes. I'm adding to account IDs. New account is not equal to null, so we are adding to account ID. So second condition also satisfied. Okay. Old account, old contact have account ID and new contact have no account ID. It means that this is null, this is not null. So it's still the data is not equal. It will go inside. Yeah. Current account dot ID equal to equal to no. It means that this if if condition become false. Yes. And old contact have a account ID, so this is not equal to null. It will go inside, right? Yeah. So ultimately, all these three satisfied in this logic, right? Yes. That is what we did it. Okay. okay. Now here, what we need to do? Ultimately, this is copy paste. I mean, it's the same code again. Right? You need to check your account yeah. size and you are getting and you are just updating back to a system. You got it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now what we need to do if trigger dot is after sorry is update.
what the data type you need to pass trigger dot new map comma trigger dot old map trigger dot new map comma old map now i'll go back and uh, this is lakshmi 7 is already open lakshmi deepak i'm opening it okay for example purpose yeah how many records for lakshmi deepak it have it doesn't have any now currently so what i did i just remove i just remove it and i'll target to lakshmi only where is lakshmi yeah, here it is and i'm saving it so already 5 plus 7 is there now it will come to 8 and what happened buddy lakshmi where is this lakshmi is lying down Achha, totally seven contacts only sorry this have one two three four five six seven right yes total count is seven and lakshmi deepak have z one contact it not it not uh, zero contacts now you can see zero right yes now what i'll do i'll i'm just updating to lakshmi to lakshmi deepak so left side one need to be reduced and right side one need to be incremented Lakshmi should have a six okay. and Lakshmi Deepak should have one. Here it is one. Here it is six. Right? Yes. And if I say that Lakshmi Deepak are reduced. So what happens? Ultimately here it becomes zero now. I removed right Lakshmi Deepak here. Yes. If I added another Lakshmi or a Lakshmi Deepak, so what happens as any pillar? So all three conditions are working absolutely fine. No issues. Uh, Deepak, here I have doubt. For example, if I, for uh, Lakshmi Deepak, mm. uh, for the same contact, we go and we remove that account. Mm. Now we didn't assign any account to that contact. Uh. Uh, I mean, it will, it will change in that condition also, right? Sorry. Because like Manam Rasan condition, Andro Takichi in the Penchitanic Rasamo. For example, if Neno complete Rasan, you know, account is assigned. Even I am not assigned. Yeah. Okay. Then what you want me to do? Here no. In case assigned Cheikopote, uh, almost Andro reduce out of that, Apote only Rondo Untena out of that. Reduce higher than you should be having old account, right? If there is no old, I mean, if there is no existing account, there is no reduction, only increment only, right? Yeah. So here the condition is talking about three. Might be you missed it one. We are saying account namely added newly means it will increment. If I say old account... No, no, ID, this is fine. Okay. My question is... Manamo uh missing co account perte uh and go to tagi in the go to perutunde. Okay. For example, one na contact ni in this seno. Contact key account in this seno. Okay, this is zero. Upuru a number in the direct out to the but only a duntene out to the okay. We'll test that next account, account untene out to we'll test it. Now I am selecting my Lakshmi Deepak. Lakshmi Deepak save. What is the count yeah. in Lakshmi Deepak currently? One, right? Now what you are yes. what you are trying to say here is now I'll update my edit my contact I'll remove my account ID account name and I'm saving it. Yes. Now what will happen is it yes, will it reduce could. the number in the account because it is a old data right now it will reduce to zero. Yes. Yeah, that is what I was checking. That is what the third condition. The one you are asking is nothing but a third condition. Okay, okay. Old contact have an account ID and new contact have no account ID. Fine, fine. Clear? Yeah, clear. This is the another question you can ask. Old account have no account name, whereas new contact have a account name. 
all three satisfied right yeah, yeah. 